Oh wait, no, I have to tell you, show you the picture. Did I show you the picture? Show you the picture. Can you even see her? I did. Right? Yes. Not really. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Kat Armanderas with Cat on the Web and I'm here in my studio in Las Vegas. And today I'm gonna show you how I use my strip box for lighting. I love this light because it lights up the entire body all at once. This first shot is my daughter, Jo. She was up here on this ladder during winter break. She's actually in college for photography too, which is freaking awesome. I love it. But she does a lot of outdoor photography, natural light photography. So while she was here, we took advantage of that and I put her in front of the camera because that's how you gain experience as well. So you can guide your client. And I had her pose here on the ladder with her glamorous crown because I like mixing glam with grit. It's kind of fun, it's unexpected. So I had her on the ladder with the strip box, not here, I had it here, I'll show you, to light up her whole body. Now I took this as a full shot, which was okay. It had some cool red boots in it, but I actually like the cropped version better. For the shot, I was using my Sony a7R II and my Sigma Art 50mm 1.4 lens. My settings were ISO 125, speed 200, and aperture f-stop 3.2. My backdrop is blue corrugated steel by Click Props Backdrops. They're again, freaking amazing. They really are because I'm standing on them right now and I put ladders and everything else on them. And you can walk on them. And would you ever do this to your backdrop? What backdrop could you do this with? This one on the floor is Old Master Gray. Old Master Gray, but technically it's a backdrop. I love dual purposing my backdrops for floors or backdrops. This is great as a gothic looking backdrop or a grungy looking floor that you kind of don't want to look like concrete, but you kind of do, but you want it kind of like artsy. That's what this does. And what other backdrop can you get wet? So this is the other way I love to use the strip box. I use it horizontally. And I have my subject laid out across the floor. Or you could do kids or families or anything to where you need to get a spread light but still light their face. And it's perfect in front of a window. Now this is my scrim, so it's gonna be our window today. The camera goes underneath the strip box. And yes, you'll have to get on the floor <laughs> or have some way to rig it so that you can see what you're shooting. But I just get on the floor, get underneath there and shoot it. Today I'm using a remote and I'll show you how this goes. All right guys, these are my settings for this shot right here. All right, now I'd like to show you what the Westcott Ice Light does. So this is very similar to the strip box, right? You're gonna have the same concept. So this is how I use it with my subject, Lindsay, over in front of this backdrop. Now the settings for this were quite a bit different. I killed all the overhead lights. So I did a little switch up here. My floor is technically a backdrop and that one is called Old Master Gray. My backdrop is a floor and that one is factory floor. My ISO was 1600. Now make sure your camera is capable of that and it still looks good. My aperture, was f-stop 1.6 and speed 200. So to hold the ice light, I had Raven hold it at the angle of her body. So if you were to take this and match it up, kind of like how it's angled out, it lines up with her body, and then you can see it on the other image where he's over here. I just line up with her body this way. So that is your strip box lighting with an ice light. I'm gonna show you a real model. So many noises. I'm sorry, Hedda. You are a real model. Hmm. Oh, did I take a picture of that? Can you try? I don't have the power. Is that what it was? Let me check. Now I show you this picture. I should probably move my camera off the floor. And my, no, 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 no. Corrugated steel. Blue corrugated, cor cure, cor cor. Got an idea. Would you ever do this to your backdrop? 
All right, guys, Hedda and I will see you next time here at Click Props Backdrops. Again, I'm Kat Armanderas with Cat on the Web. And don't forget, we create an image. We don't take a picture. Hit the subscribe. Hit that bell. I'll see you later. Later.